Good evening, everyone. My name is Frederick Bryant, and a commonly asked question to myself is what is it like in the military? But first, I want to tell you why many of you cannot answer that question. 2017 Pentagon statistics show that 71% of young adults are unable to serve in the United States military. To put that into perspective, there are 3.27 million people in the United States. And the US military only holds 1.16 million people. I personally have served three years on the USS George H.W. Bush, an aircraft carrier stationed out of Norfolk, Virginia. I have participated in many underways and training exercises, as well as a shipyard period out of Naval Station Norfolk. Before we begin, there's some relevant vocabulary that I suggest you write down at this time, if possible. Uh, the first word is reveille. A reveille is a bugle call out at sunrise signaling the first military formation of the day. Second term is muster. Muster is the assemble of troops, especially for an inspection or in preparation for battle. I'd also like to get you comfortable with 24 hour or military time. Everyone knows the AM or PM system. Uh, I'd like to teach you the military system. The first 12 hours of the day are exactly the same. So from one o'clock AM to uh, 12 o'clock PM is exactly the same. However, once you switch to 1 p.m., we go to 1300 or 1 o'clock. The best way I can tell you to keep track of time is to count backwards two hours after 1200 hours. All right, let's get the day started. Uh, a day, uh, a person's day usually starts with breakfast. Uh, the mess decks are open from 0 0500 hours to 0 0800 hours. Second is Reveille. Reveille on my ship happened at 0 0700 hours. At Reveille, this is the time where you'd start to wake up, hygiene, uniform, as well as grab breakfast if you have time. At 0 0730, we have mustard. Primary role for mustard is roll call, pass down, which includes tasks to be completed for the day, receive any new information, as well as recognize the achievements of other shipmates. Uh, we also take part in uniform inspection. That we make sure the hair is in regulation to Navy rules. We check the length of fingernails not to surpass a quarter inch. And we also check to ensure that your uniform is clean and free from any flaws. Here's a picture to show what a Navy uniform inspection usually looks like. In this picture, you see the gentleman standing in ranks and uh, the superior going person to person, checking each aspect of each sailor's uniform. Next, there's cleaning stations. Cleaning stations happens from 0800 to 0900. The usual duties of cleaning stations are sweeping, mopping, dusting, and ensuring that every space 
that is connected to your work center is clean and neat. Now we finally begin our daily work. I chose the position of master at arms to elaborate to you all today because it is most relatable to security or law enforcement, which is the field that I am in now. Uh, the first step of the day is to upload or go get weapons from the ship's armory. The second is to stand your watch post. Watch posts are usually divided into four hour shifts, four hours on the post, four hours off the post, and then repeat. You complete OJT if you have the downtime. OJT is on the job training, such as standing unfamiliar posts or going to see what your supervisor does in his daily duties. Four, you are to attend all relevant training throughout the day. What I mean by this is you have to obtain certain qualifications such as your nine millimeter qualification, certain watch standing qualifications, and during your work time, you are permitted to attend training to obtain those qualifications. As a master at arms, you are to ensure that all weapons are clean and in working order. Next step would be to maintenance all dysfunctional weapons that are found on the ship. If you have time at the end of your work day, you may study for your advancement exam, which is the test you take to obtain the next rank. During those working hours, you have lunch or chow from 1100 to 1400 hours. Culinary specialists or cooks prepare and serve the food. Sailors can only eat on the mess decks of their ship and you are normally allotted one hour for lunch. I'd like to show you what a mess deck looks like on board the USS George H. W. Bush. Here are the mess decks on the George H. W. Bush. This is an inaccurate uh, picture only because hardly are the mess decks ever empty. After chow and completion of your daily duties, you would then go to evening muster. At evening, at evening muster, you would go over accomplishments made throughout the day, as well as receive insight for tasks for the next day, as well as address any discrepancies in production. You then have evening child available from 1600 hours to 1900 hours. Uh, you have downtime and rest after that between the hours of 1900 hours and 07300 hours. Uh, ho hobbies on the ship include card games, video games, as well as physical training or working out. Now let's end the day. Enlisted personnel often have a busy day. Do you think you have what it takes to join America's global force for good? Thank you for your time. It is much appreciated.